Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial Data Science with Nine, Jupiter and Tableau. My name is Denis Ganzaroli and I'm data scientist and BI specialist working for a big telco in Switzerland. This video is dedicated to data scientists who want to solve their problems efficiently. To achieve this, we will use three different data science tools who are either free or open source. These are Nyman Analytics, Jupyter Notebook and Tableau Public Version. But let's start. We will put together Nyman for data blending, Jupyter for calculating forecasts and make projections, and Tableau Public to visualize our data in a dashboard which updates every day. All three data science tools are free available for download. Nime is open source. To get Jupyter, I suggest you to download Anaconda. And for Tableau Public, you need to sign up for an account to download the app. You will find the links to these software tools in the description below of the video. The material used in this project can be downloaded over my NIME hub site. Here you will find my NIME workflow on my GitHub site you will find the Jupyter Notebook and on my Tableau public site you will find the dashboard. The links are in the description of the video. All process which I will describe here in the video can also be read in detail with all mathematical explanation like you how you calculate the logistic growth and so on on my articles on medium or the same article is also available on KD Nuggets. The idea for this project started with the outbreak of the coronavirus COVID-19. The Johns Hopkins Institute provided this famous dashboard here showing the global spread of the virus. This is a picture from the beginning of the spread. In this dashboard we see the confirmed cases and death in every country. But this dashboard is not providing any forecasts or projections for the next days or weeks. I have already made a video about this topic exactly a year ago on my old YouTube channel. The name of the video was COVID-19 projections with Jupyter Notebooks and I created projections for every country in the world using a Python script that calculated the projections based on logistic or exponential regressions. This was at the beginning of the spread and we had just one wave to take into account. But as time went on, several COVID-19 waves followed. And that's why I had to change my approach. We will divide our task in four parts. First, we search the right data source. Then we will load and transform the data, the so-called data blending process. Then comes the calculation of the projections for the next 30 days. Finally, we will visualize the cases and projections for every country. For the data source, we will use the official data provided by the Johns Hopkins Institute. They have a GitHub site here with the raw data, which provides different files. For our analysis, we will use the time series files, confirmed global and death global. For the data blending process, my first choice is always nine. In my 18 years of experience in data science and PR reporting, I found that one point is still key, to provide fast and valuable results. With NIME you will achieve this result. First, because it's a visual programming framework that helps you focus on the problem instead of the software. Second, because it's scalable with plugins for R, Python, Tableau and many many more. And third, it's open source. 
If you want to learn more about why 9 is the best dark blending tool, please read my article on Medium here or on KD Nuggets about the subject. Here you will find the lessons and best practices I learned in many, many years of experience in data blending. But let's take a closer look at the NIME workflow. The first step is to load the data from the GitHub site of the Johns Hopkins Institute. We have here the link of the CSV file, which we will load over this node here. Nodes in NIME are building blocks which implement specific tasks like load of the data files, filter grouping or joining data. Here we perform different tasks to transform our data in a required form. Since we want to transpose the date columns in one column, we have here nodes to perform this task, so that at the end we get the right output. We do the same for the other file with the information of the death, since we want to join these two files. Since we want also to add the information of the continent, of the country, we have built this Excel file from hand, which we will also join in a second step. So now we have in one table the info of both the cases and the death for every country, for every day. Then we need to calculate the increase in cases for every day and some other metrics which we are interested in. The resulting file will then be written as CSV file for further process in Jupyter, since we want to calculate the projections for every country. This Python node calls the Jupyter script and starts the calculation of the projection. When the script is complete, and it will take a little time, the resulting file is loaded into NIME via the same node. After some further transformations, the data will be written out in an Excel, which will be uploaded to my Google Drive. From there we will use the Excel file to update our table dashboard, but more later. Before we get there, we want to give a look to the Python script. In the Jupyter Notebook, we load the data from NIME and perform multiple logistic fitting using the SciPy package. These are different functions that optimize our predictive models. To understand better this process, I will use this example notebook on my GitHub site. It explains how population growth can be projected. That's why the name of the notebook is also population growth. In the first phase, growth is exponential, like this. But over time, the exponential growth equation must be modified with a limit or carrying capacity that gives its more realistic sigmoidal shape, like this. We have now a logistic growth. This is a good approximation for the evolution of a COVID-19 wave. But since the spread is not limited to a single wave, we need an extended approach to describe the entire process. Many growth processes consist of several sub-processes. The growth is then the sum of these several, in this example two, so-called wavelets. Putting these wavelets together give us at the end the sum of multiple logistic functions, which is described over this curve here. So let's recap 
We loaded the COVID-19 data into Nine, then processed it and wrote it out a CSV file. After that, we ran a Jupyter Notebook script in Nine to calculate our projections. Now, the same node that ran the script will load the data with the projections and upload everything here on my Google Drive. Then we can use the data in our Tableau dashboard. Now it becomes more easy to understand why NIME is perfectly designed for such tasks. It orchestrates all the data blending and thanks to the integration of the Python plugin, it's possible to use all Python packages directly in NIME. We are now in Tableau, where we have already built our dashboard. The calculated data is loaded directly from my Google Drive. I just have to refresh the data source and my data will be updated. When everything is ready, I will upload my dashboard on my Tableau public site. Now the dashboard is ready and it's also available for everybody who got the link to it. We see here the expected cases for the next 30 days for Europe. But we are also able to just filter the desired countries, like Germany. The dashboard also includes other statistics, or you can also filter the desired continent for further analysis. How good are my forecasts? This is an example for Thailand. I released the post on the left side on Twitter at the end of January. This was the forecast until the end of February. And you see how exact it projected the cases until the end of February. You can follow all these posts on Twitter. Thank you for watching this tutorial and if you want to stay up to date, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time. Bye.